Hi, today I'm going to talk about what is AI. Well, of all the definitions I've been able to review so far, the one I like the best is from IBM. It says that artificial intelligence, AI, leverages computer and machines to mimic the problem solving and decision making capabilities of the human mind. It tries to do what we do. Wow. AI, it's been quite a roller coaster ride. We have gone from simple chatbots, which appear to have instant message chats in a human way with us, to ChatGPT, which we can now just give it a question, and it seems to be able to solve simple to complex problems and give us a solution, to DALI 2, where we can type a description and it can be interpreted to create an, a piece of art, a picture, a graphic. All the way now to Amica, a robot that is able to show human-like expressions. Now watching all these things, different AIs evolve, and watching the conversations whirling around them has been exhausting for me. I don't know about you, but it's been exhausting. I got infoxication, and I laugh, I love the word. And if you don't know what that is, please check back to an earlier video I made. I had to take a step back and I was carrying out my usual things that I do, my annual privacy check on my iPhone. What I do normally is I get to the stage of checking all the settings and I got to the checking for Siri. Siri is the virtual assistant. It is described by Tech Target as Apple's virtual assistant for iOS, macOS, TV OS and watch OS devices and it uses voice recognition and guess what? It is powered by artificial intelligence, AI. In the Wikipedia log, it notes that Siri was a spin-off from a project developed by SRI, International Artificial Intelligence Center. Wow. It was actually released as an app in 2010 and guess what? Two months later, it was bought by Apple and it was incorporated or added to the iOS 4S in 2011. So as I was checking my phone um, and I saw the Siri setting, as I normally like to make sure Siri is off, I found this particular setting. This setting says, learn from this app. I thought strange. And guess what? The setting was by default on. So what? The AI behind Siri was learning from all I was doing on all the different apps I was using. In fact, it was learning from all the people using the same apps as me that had this feature turned on. And most of us are probably not even aware. So what does this mean? In my humble opinion, from what I understand about AI, if the pool of the data it has to work on is bigger and more relevant and accurate, it can actually make more accurate predictions. But what do I mean by a prediction? Well, a prediction is the answer it gives us. Um, and the answer it gives us will be more accurate. So by monitoring our data, which Apple says includes information stored on our device, such as our Safari browsing history, our emails, our messages, our images, our notifications, our contacts, as well as any information donated or contributed by other installed apps. So Siri is then able to use all this information to personalize our experience and guess what? To make better suggestions. Siri is listening. When did this feature come in? That's what I wanted to know. Well, from all the searching I did, what I can gather is that this feature was part of the iOS 11. And the iOS 11 was said to have, listen, additionally, users are able to type to Siri and a new privacy-minded on-device learning technique improves Siri suggestion by privately analyzing personal usage of different iOS applications. Wow, that was from Wikipedia. Therefore, from that, I gathered AI has been learning from us since, if not before then. 
and that was in 2017. So with the advent of open AI and all different AI, maybe what we are seeing is the fruit of their harvest. <laughs> what do you think about that? Now, think about what I've said and let me know in the comments. Oh, and if you happen to like this video, please subscribe, like, and keep watching. Thank you for watching. Please come back soon. This is YJ.